VWoods is the latest surprise addition to the world of eNotes, and today, their latest update, they have nine things new, and we're gonna go over each and every one of them. Create an event and sync it to Outlook. Yes, if you log in with your Outlook account through the machine itself, you can go to daily, which is the calendar, and you can go and create a an event or an entry into your calendar. So for example, we will go to January 20th. We're gonna go to the day, you click up here, and then it is new event. Now we're gonna call this party just for the sake of a test and then down description we will say everyone once we say confirm it will show up right there at midnight on the device itself now let's check outlook so as you can see the tests we did off camera and the one that we did have been transferred over to our phone our outlook right there so you can see party on the 21st which it has become because of the time difference and the other tests we have moved over to our outlook import events through outlook alternatively you can go the other way so on the 30th i will add something and say title hello and that is it. So on the 30th, we have created an event and it is not on our VWoods yet. So what you would do is go to the VWoods, click synchronize, and then you can check to see if your hello matches up with the one on here. So after you press the synchronization button, everything from here, much like the first segment we showed you, except it is the opposite way, will move over to the VWoods. Out of the three buttons at the bottom, one of them is AI. And what you would do is press and hold it and basically say something or ask a question. Recommend me a good book. I would like fiction. Once you finish your query or question, it's going to basically just give you everything you asked for. And this can be done with a whole bunch of things. In fact, you can ask it to do things for you in regards to creating things like write me a short story. Write me a short story about a dog. And in about eight seconds, an entire story is finished. So really does break down the barriers of basically having to get things done. Transparent wallpaper, what is that? It is actually my favorite part of this update. If you go to general, you'll see that there's some wallpaper here. Click transparent wallpaper, we have it selected. Now, what does it do? What it does is if you sleep your device by pressing the button at the top, I'll show you in a second, there's gonna be a bar at the bottom that says your device is sleeping, but the paper won't change which is incredible, which means if I press this, boom, it's going to stay there. So presumably you can go on anything and you can wake it up like so. If I go over to the settings menu and then click that, it's gonna stay on the settings menu, which means I can consume content using zero battery. My second favorite feature would be the pressure sensitivity settings on this. They give you a little box to test. I've never seen that in my entire life. So if the sensitivity is set very high, you can press OK and then just gently lay your hand just with just gravity pulling it down and the pen works. If you go down to the lowest sensitivity, you will see that that same thing doesn't affect the page. You can almost r roll your whole hand on it and nothing happens. It's not till you press does it actually work, which is really nice. I absolutely love this trial isolated area where you can use the eraser, where you can use the different pen thicknesses. This is such a good idea. Quick gesture to clear ghosting. If you've done a whole bunch of things to your unit, you've gone to your home screen, you've gone this, that, you see there's some ghosting in the background there. There's some artifacting. All you would do is on the top left corner, swipe down, and it clears everything. This is a really quick gesture access that is instantly available to any part of the device, not just on the home screen, and it clears everything so that it makes it as clean as possible for whatever you're gonna do. Okay, this is something where VWoods is a little bit behind, but it's good that they integrated it. Left-handed users toolbar. 
I mean, that's pretty simple. Pretty much every manufacturer does that. It moves it to the right. So someone who is left-handed like this will now have the ability to write on the page without this ledger getting in the way, basically. It's a very simple thing that a lot of manufacturers have integrated, but we're glad they have as well. Grayscale options. This is great. If you click here, you now get four different colors. I say colors because light gray, medium gray, dark gray, black gray, the shades of black because it's a black and white unit, but it's there, which is really cool. So let's just do some quick testing here. But man, is it nice that they have integrated that. And not only that, they've integrated that on every single pen style. They've introduced fingerprint authentication for seamless access to encrypted files, which means if I lock a file, much like I have with this tester right here, I can go to paper and you'll see that it is locked. When I click on that, it's going to ask enter passcode or to enter your fingerprint. If you do, you can now get into the thing we just did. Subsequently, you can click on this and then enter your passcode. We just did four ones in a row just for the sake of testing. And then you can get into your documents that way. You can now enter a six digit lock screen password for additional security right up there. So when you go to change your passcode, you'll see it says enter your new passcode. You can actually switch to a six digit one, 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 one. Again, just for testing purposes, don't hack our systems with our six ones in a row. And then once you do that, you have modified successfully. And we are now logged into this unit operating under a six digit password. That's basically a visual change log of the latest updates on this update package. We don't do a video on every single update, but when we hit these big ones that add things like pressure sensitivity testers and transparent wallpaper, it kind of does warrant a video. VWoods is one of those companies that hasn't made it big time just yet, but it's almost as if they should because a lot of people just kind of feel that this sneaks under the radar. This is an incredibly well put together machine. It's the thinnest, it's beautiful, it works very well, the pen is gorgeous, the device is beautifully built, it's functional, it's fast, it's very well protected. They really have privacy and encryption with your security in the forefront of their delivery. It is honestly a device that deserves a little bit more love, which is why we kind of pump these videos out on these every once in a while because VWoods, although has been around for a long time structurally as a company, hasn't been in the spotlight with a physical device nearly as long as other manufacturers, but we hope we can change that. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below.